if you said you had a problem with integration in Sweden, you'd be called a racist. Well, that's not true. But when we compare Sweden to most other countries, we have a low level of crimes. And we have a low level of violent, uh, deathly violence. And we have quite a strong society and, and we are quite well equipped, I should say, to, to handle also those challenges that we are facing. Challenges here means problems created by the politicians themselves. Problem that are so huge that they are probably almost impossible to fix. And the politicians knows that. Challenges is only new speak, nothing else. Last year, Sweden, a country of nine and a half million people, granted residency to 150,000 immigrants in one year. That is an awful lot to deal with. And if you look at the polls at the moment, it's the Sweden Democrats, the anti-immigration party that is on the rise. And it could be, they say, the biggest party by 2018. So that would suggest that a lot of people have concerns. Well, I don't think that the racist party will be that big. If you said you had a problem with integration in Sweden, you'd be called a racist. Well, that's not true. Well, I don't think that the racist party will be that big. But we cannot see a connection between uh, crimes and immigration. We have been an immigration country for 20 years. Uh, a, uh, we're taking a lot of immigrants to Sweden and in the same time the crime level has gone down so this is not uh, we can't really see that connection so we can't see the connection and in the same time the crime level has gone down and in the same time the crime level has gone down so we can't see the connection the yearly addition of foreign-born citizens in Sweden between 1996 and 2016. Almost everyone from countries that we know are highly overrepresented in violent crimes compared to Swedes. The total numbers for these years are approximately 850,000 and at least 600,000 of them are males. The crime rate, particularly around sexual crimes, has risen in the capital. Well, there is, uh, he's not, uh, I should say that he's not really know what he's talking about. Well, we, when we make surveys uh, about uh, if any woman has been, uh, uh, if there's been a rape towards her and sexual harassment, we can see that the level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. But we encourage women uh, to uh, actually report to the police and we have also broadened the scope of what we uh, define as a rape because we would like every woman, because every rape is one rape too much, we will encourage every woman to report to the police so we have a high level of reporting to the police. We don't know anything about the willingness to report. We don't know if it's going up or down. We don't know if it's high or low. This is from NTU, the yearly survey from BRA, and the underlined row is how many percent of the sex crimes that has been reported, based on the question if you have been a victim of a sex crime and if you have reported it. What can you say about the figures? High? Low? Increasing? Decreasing? The answer is you probably can't say anything. If you have to say something it would be that the willingness to report is going down, at least the last four years. And it's good that they report, and of course it's bad if rape is committed. But when we make surveys, uh, the actual level of rapes is not high in Sweden. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. The level is going down and going down and going down. And finally, Ylva Johansson admitted she was wrong about the levels going down and down and down. She said that it was wrong to use just one year. The truth. She took a chance, hoping that no one in Sweden would take notice and that no other would check the facts.
or should I say her old facts?